Hi, Ron Greider here again with you, showing you some of the things that we do and why we do them. Right now, we're looking at the barracks boxes. These are X streamers, and those X streamers are receiving signals from FM radios or AM radios at tower sites at radio stations that we oversee, and they send that information back to the meters that you see above them. In addition to that, there is a switcher there. It says monitor selector. We have the ability to punch a button there and listen to the audio that's actually being transmitted at the radio station. And it's a, a really good way to monitor what's going on. We like these uh, little meter boxes. They display nicely. They're easy to adjust. And uh, we have a very, very good handle on what the radio stations are doing that we are responsible for. I'm going to show you some more meters coming up here that are above these meters. These meters here are it was, uh, some meters that we, we were able to buy and punch out from uh, the uh, rack panels and put them into service. They were like 80 bucks a piece and they were a little bit more cost effective than the ones you saw below. I'm going to transition now over to the WVRC broadcast tools remote control systems. These remote control systems are monitoring those meters, that audio, in the event the audio fails, it sends an alarm, sends us a uh, email and lets us know what is going on. To the right here, you will see a Barracks 500 box. We use these exclusively for STL, studio transmitter links. Uh, and we believe that they're the best device for the job, mainly because if you see, there's four relays, four little lights on the right-hand side. In the event that the internet goes down or uh, if the uh, audio fails, at either end, those lights come on, close a relay, and then we use that relay information to make other things happen. At a tower site, it would switch on a satellite or switch on a USB stick. You'll notice there's a little place to plug a USB in and it will play audio for 12 hours and then repeat playing that audio again. Now we're taking a look at the Comrex access unit. These are the units that we strongly recommend to use for remotes. This is what I call the receiving unit. It transmits and receives, but it's the rack unit. And the access unit is very reliable. Comrex has come up with some most unique ways to be able to handle all kinds of different types of uh, internet connections. And uh, therefore, the reliability is very high. Now, I say this, and a lot of people say, well, then why don't we use these for STLs? Well, you can use them for an STL, but I find more flexibility, better flexibility with the barracks box and um, they're easier to operate and they cost less money. But because we know the condition of the lines at the time uh, from the, the internet connections, we don't have an issue uh, with them at all as far as connectivity. Here are the barracks brick links. The one on the right is the new brick link. The one on the left is the uh, original brick link. We make very generous use of those. We probably have a dozen of them in service. We like them a lot. We just decommissioned them from the STL part of our operation and use the barracks boxes. Here are some more barracks boxes. These are extremers. The two you see here are monitoring more radio stations. We're also taking care of a radio station in Atlanta, a 50,000 watt AM station in Atlanta, which is turned Catholic. And uh, we are feeding them 24 hours a day, seven days a week from our technical operations centers, keeping them on the air. And if we look up here you're going to see another little X streamer and this is a EWTN reflector and this on one channel has the domestic channel and the other channel has uh, the uh, classic channel and uh, that's how we get our satellite feed. We also have satellite dishes in Indiana that feed the information to us via barracks boxes and uh, I think I'll have another shot of those in just a minute. And you'll see where that information comes in from Indiana. So we have two different ways to get uh, EWTN. But the, the reflector works out quite well. Again, we make generous use of the Lexicon Alpha. And we use these to power the computers that operate the uh, streaming. So we stick one of these on the front end of each computer. It's a USB device, and that gives us 
a um, balanced input for the audio. We can see the audio coming in here on the, on the little meters below, and we have a good way of adjusting it, and it's uh, $50. It's the right price for the unit. Over here, uh, I'm showing you this just because we like these uh, Apex uh, 320As. We buy them from eBay from three to $500 a piece. Uh, even if they're old, they seem to work quite well. It's absolutely the best device I've ever seen to control audio leaving your studio. Just smooths it out and it's, it's marvelous. We get, use as many of these as we can get our hands on. We also use the Dominator. Uh, we put those at the transmitter sites for stations that really, there's a Dominator, you'll see that's the one on the top. And uh, that Dominator is uh, used at a transmitter site and they make them for FM stations as well with pre-emphasis. You can engage or disengage the pre-emphasis in the Dominators. Again, we can buy those off of eBay every day of the week for uh, three to $500 a piece. And it's a big difference between that and $5,000 for a uh, a, a really first-class audio processor like an Orban or something such as that. And then uh, coming up here, I'm going to show you again back to the uh, uh, remote control systems and on the right-hand side is another Barracks 500 that we use as an STL to deliver our satellite signals from Indiana down here. So this is a generally just what you would consider a snapshot of what's going on at the Technical Operations Center, both at our Indianapolis operation and our Florida operation. Indianapolis is much more extensive, uh, but both of them do essentially the same thing. We operate radio stations using Simeon automation systems, and we do streaming uh, using the uh, SecureNet systems. Thanks for watching. Look forward to hearing or seeing from you in the future.